Brendan Bushcrafters, Friday's Tips. Every Friday I'm going to do a tip and today is about making utensils. Normally we're so engrossed in making things of wood we sort of forget to look around and see what else we can do. Well, just an ordinary pop bottle, found lying on the beach, whatever, doesn't really matter. Take the label off, get rid of that. Okay, that stuck to me. And then let's have a look. I could have carved this one rough. I'd normally mark out what I'm going to carve with something like a felt pen, but say we're in the wild, we can't do that. So I'm going to go. I probably cut myself doing this. So I'm offset for this. It doesn't really matter being offset. What I'm going to cut. And I'll show you before I cut it out. And it's only rough, guys, because as I say, I would normally mark this out. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I know you guys can work this out without actually watching down below, but I will do it down below if you, if you feel the need. As I say, we can do tidier than this. This isn't tidy, so I don't know what trolls saying. Must do better. But anyway, and it could be a thicker bottle, but cut out of there, which is this shape. Okay. A spoon! Okay. That's what it's all about. You can see the shape. It's got a spoon ball then. Yeah, I could have done it uh, tidier. But, um, but I think you're getting the principle. You can carve anything out of anything. I mean, that is a useful little tool. Yeah, but this one is a bit flimsy. You know, I'd use a thicker bottle. But just, it's just a tip. Don't look at just wood and be blinded by what us bushcrafters do. Look at everything. What can I, what little shape? can I cut out of this bottle? You know, I've got a funnel which is perfect. Why buy a funnel when I've got one? Cut that off. Um, cut the bottom off bottles for uh, candlestick holders. Oh, there must be a thousand and one things to do with a pop bottle. We find these on beaches. You won't go short of these probably in survival. You've probably got an old one in your bag. If you're hiking and camping you're probably carrying these for water. Um, but there you go, Friday's tip, over and out, this is Pete saying, don't forget to subscribe.